Hi, I'm Irma Botvin. I'm here with Dr. Larry Berkelhammer. Dr. Berkelhammer has researched mindfulness practices to increase mastery and well-being. Um, Larry, I saw a, that you wrote a lot about authenticity and self-expression, as well mm -hmm. as openness and vulnerability. Mm. Um, could you tell us about that? I've had a fascination with this for a while. Some of it comes from my training as a psychotherapist. I had trained with Jim Bugenthal, James F.T. Bugenthal in Existential Humanistic Psychotherapy, which, I mean, Jim actually wrote a book, The Search for Authenticity, and existential therapy is about authenticity. And then having trained in mindfulness for decades, that's about openness and vulnerability. You know, there's a, there's a belief that a lot of us, especially men, were brought up with that's if you, show open, if you show vulnerability, you're showing weakness. You don't ever want to show openness and vulnerability, especially men. It's a sign of weakness. That's not true. It's the opposite. The people who are able to show, men especially, who are able to sh reveal openness and vulnerability, they're the strong ones. Mm -hmm. They're the strong ones. They're the ones who have psychological flexibility. There was a researcher, uh, well, he's still around, uh, Jimmy Penny, uh, James Pennybaker in, uh, I think he was at Vanderbilt, um, who did research on, on how when people shared their authentic feelings, in his case, it was through, he was studying journaling, mm -hmm. they actually improved physiologic functioning and health just through sharing their open and vulnerable feelings in, the, in their journal. So even though no one else may, right. may have seen that journal. In fact, I, th I, th I think his hypothesis was it's safer because no one was going to see the journal. Yeah. So it's safer to be open and vulnerable in the journal. I also want to say, aside from the positive effect on others, openness to our authentic inner experiences builds mastery and well-being. Mm. Oh, I see. These qualities help us to find solutions to personal problems by being fully present to accepting our inner experiences. Mm -hmm. I can't say enough about really setting a clear intention every day to be open and vulnerable. And again, approaching this as a mindfulness practice. Yeah. Uh, every day saying, I wanna, I wanna be open and vulnerable in every interaction with everyone I meet, mm -hmm. especially with those people who I perceive as attacking me. If I notice myself getting defensive, instead to let myself tune in, and, okay, I'm feeling some fear, I'm feeling myself tensing up. My intention, what's my intention? My intention is to be open and vulnerable. I'm not gonna get slammed mm -hmm. by being open and vulnerable. On the contrary, mm -hmm. I'm going to get slammed by getting defensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you.